Some journeys involve traveling to new places, but some journeys are within. GLF is not only a summer program, it's a life-changing experience in which you not only learn about leadership, about friendship, about worldwide culture, but about life. You get to know what kind of things life might bring to you in the future, what kind of problems you might have, and you develop certain skills that are going to be basic and necessary for your life to solve problems. It's really, really great. It brings together people from different cultures. It helps us to understand and to learn about other cultures in a really fun environment. We learn insanely amazing things. We stay at a castle, it's really cool. In a couple of short weeks, we have grown enormously as people. We can see the development in each other. Essentially, GLF has helped me to become a much more tolerant person. I thought I was already. I have learned a lot since being here. There are many different things I learned at GLF and I see myself change in many different areas in many different ways. But the most important one that I want to take back to my life is to see every single object and every single person, every single situation with many different perspectives and many different eyes in a way. because. There's not only one truth about one situation. For example, if it was a historical event, my school textbook might say something, but then my friend from a different country would see the same event in a totally different perspective. And in another friend's country, they won't even learn about that historical event. If I could teach this to more students or friends around me, maybe all of us will see the world in a different way. And then maybe that will be a key point when changing the world to make it a more peaceful and a more environmental friendly place. GLF has helped me learn that in my country where I live in, El Salvador, it's not just my country. It's the world that is affected by violence, hunger, corruption, ignorance. We do a lot of workshops on community projects, which means a lot of kids talk about their own problems in their communities that I never thought was a problem in the world. And in that way, I see the global issues in a whole different way, because usually when we say global issues, there's like the top five, which is like a global warming or poverty or like sea level rising, and there are always these ones that everybody knows, but then I realized that global issues are actually things that are in our daily life, in our communities, and they're all around the world. So instead of starting from something huge, I can start something in my community that's really small. And once I can solve that problem, I can keep on going to a larger scale, larger scale. And when students from around the world can do this in their own communities, in the end, I feel like we can solve a huge world problem. My name is Mariana, and the issue that I'm working on is reducing the number of high schoolers dropping out of school in Portugal. In the Impossible Project, that definitely changed the way I looked at problems, the way I tried to solve them, and how I look at hard situations. You have to think outside the box. You have to start all over again. You have to see things a different way, and if you do that, you can find the solution to any problem. It becomes smaller again. And for shorter, shorter pencils, she can just put it in this bag. <laughs> so when she opens it like this, she could we have like a uh, additional part for that. A lot of people just focus about themselves and their everyday lives, and they never really notice the help that the people around them need. At GLF, we get many, many opportunities to uh, practice service and helping other people. So if you focus less on your own life but focus about the people around you and by helping them that person will feel happy or they might help somebody else and if people continue helping each other I think it's the best way to create a world with peace.
Right now I'm at the International Folk Art Alliance um, Festival and 90% of the profits go straight to the women. So it's a great cause and I love being here. What I like most is that I feel useful because if I, if I weren't here, I think it would be really hard for them to be able to sell the, their bags because they can't communicate. I had possibly the best volunteering experience I've ever had because she just was like super grateful that I was there and I feel super grateful that I was there and the fact that we both felt the same way I feel like that's why it was so rewarding even though we don't speak the same language we felt the same way at that moment and it was one of the best feelings and I cannot describe it any better than that it's a really difficult thing for me to go out of my comfort zone. But at GLF, everybody really pushes me to go out. And once I get out there, I realize it's actually not that bad. And it takes time, but then you see yourself grow in each and every situation we, that comes up at GLF. Yeah, sometimes you hit a rock. I just can't find it. Not waste it, yeah. Thank you. Yep. Three guys is cooking. Uh, yeah. If you guys want to fry, <laughs> 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 try having that in your whole. When I first started on the hike, I thought I would not be able to make it 10 minutes, even though multiple times I wanted to quit and I wanted to go back down. I always could take another step forward, and another step forward meant another step forward. And I kept on going and going. We supported each other by cheering and clapping and just uh, asking someone if they're okay. And I made it at the top. I realized that, that even when you think you can't do something, you, you can and you can get to the top. During circle time, I get to really talk about my own background. And when I talk about my own background to other people and when people comment about it, I realize how much I've been influenced by my own background. And I think that's one of the biggest discoveries I had at GLF because I realized for me to grow, I need to look back at myself and my roots, which means learning about my family, learning about where I come from, learning about what I've done as a child, and that could actually take me to a higher step as a human being. I think like this group, it's I feel comfortable mm -hmm. with these people when we go. Leadership is lifting people while you, while you rise. And not only I became a leader, but I saw what leadership is in other people. I saw great leaders here, and they inspired me to become a better person, to become better each day, to be grateful of everything I have, of all the people that surround me, because I had never felt it. I always knew what it was and I was I always felt like I was and I wanted to be a leader and become a better leader each day but this is the first time that I actually feel what transforming into a leader is during this program I think I've really matured as a leader I've been able to accept that it's not me that has to do everything I can trust other people to do it I have been able to learn how to talk to people in a way that doesn't place blame or create conflict, which I think is an incredibly invaluable skill. Definitely people changed me here. I learned so much from them. I'm not the same guy as before GLF. I, I see things different now. I'm aware of much more things. Always give more than what you have because you have more than you think. And GLF is all about the there's more in you than you think motto. And I'm all about that too. I wasn't like that before coming here. I didn't think I had it in me. Call Subaru, I'll add it if I keep my meat back.
点个关注，一场点个小麦的大声响，来唱，人生啊，来奇葩送妈妈，我操，就是。Mission Wolf, do not get me started. It was amazing. I got kissed by two wolves, not one, but two wolves. And when I looked into those eyes, those yellow eyes, I was, oh wow, I am here. I am in this moment. And I've struggled all my life to be in the moment. I, like, I want more moments like this, or, oh my God, I just want this to go away. And at that moment, I was totally in there. Um, and when I saw that huge face and that huge head, I was like, we are part of something so much bigger than ourselves. And GLF, it's been a tough journey, but I'm, I'm so grateful that I'm here. And I cannot explain to anyone how grateful I feel because I've never had anything like this. I've never felt this understood. I just want to stay here forever. in the program is that I have learned a lot. I have gained many experiences and become more mature. And I have a lot of fun. And my low is that uh, today is the last full day. So I'm gonna miss you. And Chile. my high for the program would probably be just seeing who I've become over the past like three weeks because mm -hmm. I've really changed. Um, and meeting all of you, that's very special to me. And then my other high was probably uh, the fact that, I don't know, I, I think this whole trip has been a high for me because I would have just spent my summer sitting on a couch. Because, I mean, every time I woke up, came down to the morning and saw your faces and smiles, I knew it was going to be a good day. was just watching you guys like transform especially the people who were quiet or like maybe like not super confident at the beginning but who like totally like blossomed <laughs> um, and like really like participated in, and like also the way that you guys like all love each other and that like no matter how like quiet you are or like no, no matter your personality or where you come from like every single person seems to be really accepted in this group. During this process, I understood a lot. We should trust, forgive, as well as teamwork. I think future will be better. There are more things to do and I learned a lot. We will understand each other increasingly deeper. We will also realize the difference among us are colorful characteristics. Golfers will always keep this experience in their seas of memory.